they're taking their written responses from each other and they're peer reviewing it. From students in the classroom, to educators in conference rooms, to keynote speakers in the hotel ballroom. This work is really important. It's really hard and it can be done. Westminster Public Schools' second summit on competency-based education provided unique insights into how the largest district in the country to be completely competency-based is changing lives and reforming public education. We're all in this together. I just hope that you know we learn and grow from every opportunity we have to engage with like-minded people. On the first day of the summit, educators from across the country traveled to WPS schools to experience CBS firsthand and to talk with teachers and students. <laughs> In a district where education is personal, the second day began with music from the high school mariachi band and a keynote speech from Susan Patrick, one of the most informed voices on competency-based education in the country. We need to be shaken up a little bit, right? She praised attendees for joining a movement that is growing every day. And now we have six to eight percent of public school districts working on planning, beginning to implement, beginning to develop. Breakout sessions covered a wide range of topics, ranging from the benefits of personalized learning to the nitty-gritty details of managing the classroom, collecting student data, and building schedules to accommodate the needs of all students. It was a lot to absorb, and attendees were asked to share their thoughts on camera. I really appreciated all the honesty, and I'm just really interested in, in making a change and making education more relevant to the students that I serve. Um, we are interested in doing things that serve every student every day, and we feel like competency-based learning is the best uh, way to support the needs of our students. For me, it's the idea that the world is a place where if you really try hard, people will line up behind you. They really will. On day three, Bob Marzano, one of the leading education researchers in the nation, explained why he is such a believer in competency-based and why he opened a Marzano Academy at Flynn Elementary in WPS. He cited research that shows when students can prove mastery of a learning topic or a proficiency scale, which is a key tenant of CBS, measurable achievement follows. Look at what happens when students pass 16 of the 16 proficiency scales. 97% of those students also pass the state test. That's what you want, that relationship. It was an informative, inspiring three days. Best summed up by Jennifer Singleton from St. Louis. It feels like when you're about to hike a mountain where it looks so overwhelming and so big, but then if you think about it, okay, I'm gonna make it from this point to this summit or this point to this shelter, it seems doable as long as you have the right checkpoints in place, you have the right action plan and the right people. And I think that's what we've really seen throughout this conference. It's all in keeping with the theme of the summits, elevating learning through personalization. And there's no limit to how fast and how far our students should be able to go.